Hi, welcome to another video. So, today I want to talk about something that's kind of amazing if you're into AI coding, especially if you're working as part of a team. If you've ever used tools like Klein, Claude Code, Gemini CLI, or Open Code, you probably know the pain. You fix a bug once, spend ages explaining your project setup, and then, next session or when a teammate joins, boom, all that context is just gone. It's like your agents have the memory of a goldfish, and you end up repeating the same explanations, fixes, or best practices over and over. And yes, I know some of you have tried solutions like agents.md files or custom IDE rules, but honestly, those static configs just can't keep up once your code base starts growing or your team starts switching between tools. They're fine for basic stuff, but they don't scale, and they definitely don't sync context or fixes across IDEs or teammates. So, you're stuck hunting through docs, Slack threads, or old markdown files just to find what your team already solved. That's not just annoying. It actually slows down your whole team and racks up wasted tokens and hours. Byte Rover is here to change all that. Byte Rover is basically a central memory layer for modern dev teams using AI coding agents. The best part is, it works across IDEs, projects, and teams. And yes, it's compatible with Klein, Claude Code, Gemini CLI, Open Code, VS Code, Cursor, Windsurf, RuCode, and more. But what really sets Byte Rover apart is that it's designed for teams. Your agent doesn't just forget. It auto-generates memories from your code base, capturing everything from programming logic and bug fixes to decision rules and even ML hyperparameters. So, let's say you fix a tricky bug in Klein. Next time anyone on your team hits that same error, whether they're in Claude Code, Gemini CLI, or Open Code, the agent instantly recalls how you solved it. No more hunting through old Slack threads or markdown files. And Byte Rover isn't just about bug fixes. It stores best practices, onboarding guides, ML configs, experiment logs, evaluation metrics, all the stuff you want your team to use and remember. If you're switching between IDEs, your memory travels with you. That's huge. Now, let me show you how you can use it, and as we proceed, I'll also tell you what makes it quite a bit different from anything else out there. First off, getting started is actually super easy. You just go to byterover.dev and hit Get Started and sign up for a free account. There's a free plan with up to 200 monthly retrievals, unlimited memory creation, and unlimited users, which is kind of cool if you want to try it out with your team before going all in. There are also super affordable plans that you can choose according to your needs as well. Once you sign up, you'll create your organization and a memory workspace. That's your team's shared brain. From there, you can install the Byte Rover extension on your favorite IDE, Klein, Claude Code, Gemini CLI, VS Code, Cursor, Windsurf, Open Code, Zed, RuCode, whatever you use. Just select it, and then it will open up the VS Code marketplace where you can install it. The install takes under three minutes. It also automatically sets up the Klein config with the Byte Rover MCP and it adds rules to tell the coder to use Byte Rover accordingly. So, you just need to relax. Once that is done, Byte Rover will start auto-generating memories from your code base and interactions. You can manually ask it to create any memory for you. Like here, I'm going to ask it to make me a simple array sorting program and then save it as a memory in Byte Rover. And you'll see that it will go ahead and make the stuff for you accordingly, and then add it in Byte Rover. To check, you can go to Byte Rover's dashboard and check it there for yourself. You can search, edit, tag, 
and comment on every memory in one place. You can also share the memory with anyone in your team and everything like that. Also, it's not just for coding either. You can implement it in anything that supports MCPs and use it as a memory layer for anywhere. Like, you can implement it in something like Open Web UI as well, or Claude, or anything like that as well. Generally, you'd want to use it in your regular workflow with your AI coder and use it like a memory that you want to keep. Like, imagine you're working in Klein and you run into a weird bug. You solve it, and Byte Rover automatically saves that fix, along with your reasoning steps, into the memory workspace. Next week, your teammate hits the same bug in Claude Code. Instead of wasting hours, the AI agent instantly retrieves your solution from Byte Rover. This isn't just limited to bugs. Let's say you're tuning ML models. Byte Rover can save hyperparameters, training configs, pre-processing pipelines, evaluation metrics, even experiment logs. So, when someone joins the team or switches projects, they instantly inherit all that knowledge. Onboarding is a breeze, and everyone codes with the same standards and practices. I mean, I really like how it just keeps everyone on the same page, especially when you're working across multiple IDEs. It's very similar to what you get with tools like Claude Code's static configs, but Byte Rover's memory is dynamic, auto-generated, and accessible everywhere. You can use it almost anywhere that supports MCP. It doesn't have an SDK yet, but you can use their open source Cypher memory layer if you want more transparency or to manage your own data. Cypher is plug and play, works with all major IDEs via MCP, and has zero config needed. If you're into open source, check out their GitHub repo. Give it a star if you like it. It helps grow the community. The best part for me about it is the team sharing and cross-ID memory. Byte Rover acts as a single source of truth for your whole team. Every bug fix, best practice, onboarding guide, and ML config is instantly accessible. You can invite teammates, assign roles, and everyone can access the same memory workspace. So, if a junior dev joins, they get up to speed instantly. If someone tunes a model, those settings are saved for everyone. If you switch from Klein to Claude Code or Gemini CLI, all your context comes with you. That's insanely good for keeping projects consistent and avoiding repeat mistakes. You can even manage access with role-based controls, so you're not compromising on security. Overall, it's pretty cool. Anyway, share your thoughts below and subscribe to the channel. You can also donate via Super Thanks option or join the channel as well and get some perks. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.